Hello, this is Demetra Zamzas of the Naked Snail, and this video is in response to a request by Grindo Glenda Winkleman, a creative grandma, to show you a fairly inexpensive project that you could make to sell in craft fairs. Uh, basically, you just need a little bit of cotton yarn, some beads, 5 millimeter crochet hook, which is what I use, a smaller crochet hook, and a pair of scissors. So, let's get started. So, we begin. So, I'm going to use this yarn today the green with the purple beads just start by stringing the beads along and make sure the beads are big enough to fit into your yarn the holes in mean. so just string them along and put them aside Okay, and just pull them aside for now. So with a five millimeter crochet hook, you make a chain of, I make about 15 or 20 stitches or chains, depending how big you want the, your bracelet. You make them fairly loose because you will have to go into them later. So you just chain along. Okay. Okay, so once you have your chain, you see here how you have, you flip it around, you see how there are these bumps in the back? What you're going to do is crochet into the bumps. So you skip the first bump, or the very first one's right there next to your hook. You go into the next one, and so you just single crochet into that. Okay, all the way along, there's your bump, bump is there, okay, so you just single crochet about halfway down the bracelet or your chain, okay, so that's your next bump right there, okay, okay, so once you're halfway down the bracelet, See this nice pattern you're making? So that's why you can continue with this. It makes a nice friendship bracelet. Or you can add beads. So to add the beads, just string them along. Just bring them up from the chain. Then you crochet. Continue to crochet into the bump. Don't skip any. Then you go around the bead. Okay, just like so. And just single crochet. And then I usually do an extra in between the beads. And then you bring up the next bead. And you just continue to crochet around that, around the bead. So, like so. So these beads will never go away anywhere. They'll just stay there. So once you have all the beads in that you want, you just continue to crochet into the bump all the way to the end. Okay, so once you're at the end, then you fasten off, you cut a long tail, and then you just fasten that off. Then with your smaller crochet hook, you attach this to the other end, like so. Just string it through. And then you have a nice... Tie. 